In this video we are going to be introduced to the Masters palette. Below the widgets palette we will find the Masters palette. Masters are objects that we want to distribute across the project but we want to have one point of control. So if we edit the master instance the edit will be reflected across all instances of the object. Masters can be organized much like pages indenting and so on to indicate relationships useful for you and for others when they pick up your work. Examples of where you may want to use masters are for icons, logos and shared page level elements like headers and footer menus. There are some slight exceptions to this rule like with menus because often we want wayfinding features in menus which in the current, indicate the current page. This requires some advanced techniques to show changes to menu masters in certain circumstances. We can create a master by clicking the add master button or we can also select a widget or widgets and convert them to a master with a right click. You need to choose a name for your master. You'll notice a red sheen over the master now. This is the UI's way of showing us it's a master. To open our master you can double click it or you can double click a master from the listing in the palette. You'll find the master opens in a tab much like a page. You can do pretty much anything in a master that you can do in a page. They are very powerful in that respect. Whereas in previous versions you had different types of master, in version 7 this is more accurately defined as drop behavior. You may have noticed these options in the master creation dialog, but we can access at any time by right clicking the master in the palette listing to see this option. The first option in the list is place anywhere and is the default behavior for a master. This allows us to place the master where we want in the various pages we may want to deploy it. Choosing lock to location from drop behavior allows us to specify that the master always drops in the same location on the page. Very useful for page level elements like headers, breadcrumbs or menus. Breakaway effectively means the object loses its reference or breaks away from its master reference when it is dropped. Any future changes made to the master are not applied to instances that have already been dropped. This can be a bit confusing because these objects behave more like a widget than a master and indeed in version 6.5 these object types were called custom widget masters. The usage report for masters accessed with a right click in the palette shows you the pages where that master is deployed. This only works for true masters and not breakaway masters. This feature can be really handy when your prototypes are on the larger side and for other collaborators like designers and developers.